Opera QM15 is, uh, is part of the a body of works that I call apparitions. So apparitions can be live or uh, in a different mode. This is a kind of holographic mode. Um, so we have um, a character um, largely based, influenced by Maria Callas uh, appearing and um, singing. There, there are several important um, topics for me there. So one is in a larger way is, is, uh, is, is about what, what is an artwork, you know, like what kind of uh, what what kind of existence has has a, has an artwork? It's maybe a bit strange, but let's say uh, is art is an artwork? Is it an artificial life? Is it what um, what do we what do we experience when we are connected to artificial life, staged life? Um, so this is one. This is one thing. Another, another, uh, another idea is to explore um, the idea of presence. So appearing, disappearing. Usually, artworks have a kind of stable presence. Like, uh, so you move them, you light them, you transport them. Here we, here we. We're confronted to something which appears and disappears, a kind of being, more like a, a ghost or... So this, in that way, it relates to life, artificial life. And um, another topic there is opera in a broad sense. So uh, in the past years, I've been really, um, been really very much into opera many ways. Opera, uh, opera as a structure, opera as a narrative, opera as a way to deal with um, our somatic body possibilities. So there are many other things, but maybe these are some ways to look at it. Today we have a, a, an incredible event on our planet. We have a global strike. It's one of the very, very first global strikes. We have the whole cities over the world, uh, teenagers, people striking, uh, because there is an issue that is beyond art. You know, there is an issue that is uh, we we need to reconnect to life, and we need to consider that as humans we act like predators and even when we deal with art sometimes we are predators and we destroy the world. I am very uh, sensitive and moved by the fact that Francesca is concerned with these issues. So for me to be connected with uh, this collection is to have the right connection to art. As an artist, I try, I really try, I'm not, I'm not a producer, I'm not dealing with objects so much, and I'm very concerned um, with waste and transport. As a person, I mainly, I travel by train and I go by plane as little as possible, and I, very, um, I'm aware that we depend on many other beings, like we're not alone on this planet. So as an artist, I, I, I really try to be uh, aware of, um, and, and uh, so the, as you know, artists have different ways and they have, uh, they have also very, uh, they have a drive to, to do things, to show things, to this is this inner um, drive. But um, so sometimes this comes in fight with a more, uh, with a more general uh, concern of, but uh, yeah, as an artist, I, so I don't, um, I try to avoid waste production. And uh, this is why, for example, I'm, 
I'm very happy when when uh, when there is a relation to art that is not uh, destructive. I think the art world has a big effort to do in terms of connecting um, desire, magic, and many things that are related to art with a with a different way to 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 show it, to travel, and to be on this planet.